I thought I'd put together some videos about putting doing harmonics on the bass. Now I've already done one about natural harmonics. And if you haven't seen that already, I'd really recommend watching that before you watch this one because you really need to understand natural harmonics before you can play artificial harmonics. So when we talked about natural harmonics, we talked about the harmonic series. So this is all in my previous video. So if you're not sure what the harmonic series is, check that out. Um, so we found this harmonic series that you can play and you can play it in both directions. So you can play it going towards the, the nut and you can play it going towards the bridge. Now that harmonic series, it basically just gives you a major arpeggio of whatever the, the note is of the open string. Now, if you can learn how to do that using just your right hand with no input from the left hand, then you have the technique that you need for, for playing artificial harmonics. So for an artificial harmonic, you've got to do two things with your right hand. You've got to lightly touch the string at the point where you make the harmonic and you've got to pluck it. Now, I can do that and I can play the harmonic series in exactly the same way that I did it with my left hand. So I can go. Okay, so that's that's the, that's the, the principle behind artificial harmonics. Because then when you can do that, it then f means your left hand is then free to change the note. So for example, I could play, I could fret the note, the fifth fret on the first string, which is a C in this case. Uh, and then what I'd have to do is I'd have to find the point which is exactly halfway between that fifth fret and the bridge. Okay, and if I, once I once I found that halfway point, which happens to be here on the 17th fret, I can then play the exact same harmonic sequence, but in this case it's going to be in C now, not in G. So it gives me a whole whole set of different notes. Okay, so that's the principle behind playing artificial harmonics on the bass. It's using your right hand to, to both touch the string lightly and pluck it at the same time. So it's two different things with your right hand. So it's a much more advanced technique. Um, now there's a few different ways that you can do that. The first one I'm going to show you very briefly is what's called the Jaco Pastorius technique. Um, so he, when Jaco Pastorius played these artificial harmonics, what he tended to do was he tended to use his thumb to just lightly touch the string and then one of his fingers behind that to pluck the pluck the string and you can get harmonics like that. Now I used to use that technique but to be honest I haven't really used that technique in years. Um, I just found other techniques that I prefer more so I'm not going to talk too long about that one but that is the principle behind it. Lightly touch the string with your thumb and then pluck the string with your fingers. Um, so the te a technique that I prefer is what bass players call the Steve Bailey technique. Now the Steve Bailey technique is where you actually use your index finger to just lightly touch that string. And then you can use one of your other fingers. I tend to use my third finger, but you can use your second finger as well uh, to then pluck the string. Okay, so you see what I'm doing there? So I'm finding a harmonic here on the 24th fret and I'm just lightly touching that string with my index finger. And then my third finger behind it is just gonna pluck the note. Now, the reason I like that technique, the advantage of that is that my thumb is not doing anything. So my thumb is free. And the reason why that's an advantage is because I can then use the thumb to then put some bass notes in at the same time. So I can play stuff like this. Okay, things like that. Um, just making little arrangements using my thumb playing the bass notes and then using that Steve Bailey technique to play the, the, the harmonics with my right hand. That's the principle behind artificial harmonics. Now the third technique that I want to have a look at is the one that I used in the video. Now this works really, really well for playing chord voicings. And this is actually a technique that I adapted from uh, guitar. So if I just take a chord voicing, so for example, this would be a voicing of, of, of like a, an E major sharp 11 chord, E major 7 sharp 11. So finding that halfway point between the fretted notes and the bridge, uh, I'm using my index finger to lightly touch the string, just like with the Steve Bailey technique, but this time I'm using my thumb to pluck the string. So it's going to look like this. third string and then I'm playing the first string just without a harmonic and then I'm playing the fourth string as a harmonic and then I'm playing the second string not as a harmonic so you can do stuff like this